So if you want to analyze Google Analytics data using Power BI, I finally updated the Google Analytics template that I offer you to Google Analytics 4. Let me show you how it looks. So this is how the report looks. It took forever to do because the data is aggregated in Google Analytics and it's not that easy to set up. But I have it now. So the first thing that you will have is a summary, which is basically a scorecard. that will show you how things are going. Um, the next one will be user acquisition. They will show you how you, new users get to your site. You can see the primary channel, the source, medium, or the campaign. You will see the totals in here with the previous period um, indicator. You can see what period has been selected. And then you can see by date on both total users, new users, active users. This will change depending on the scope. Okay. Then you can see traffic acquisition. You will be able to see how new and returning users get to your site. Again, primary channel, source medium, campaign. Here you will see sessions and get sessions. The next one will be for pages. You will understand which pages are popular. You can see both page path and page title. You will be able to see a table or area chart. Then we have the landing pages. So the first page the user see when it lands on your site. You can see landing page, landing page plus query string. So you can see what query actually got them there. You will be able to see demographics if you have demographics on your site. And then you will be able to see by an area chart, or you will be able to see the map. So you can see geographically where they are located. And then you can see technology. In case you are going to do updates to your site, you will be able to see which um, technology is being used to access your site. So you make sure that your site works perfect on those technologies. So that is how the report looks like. Obviously, you're going to get the PVX files. So you will be able to change things and add and remove as needed. Okay. Um, one thing I want to say is that it is not possible to use the Google Analytics connector that Power BI provides because the Google Analytics data is aggregated in the API, which means that you cannot sum things. You cannot do normal business intelligence on the API, it will give you the wrong results. So everything has to, be, has to be carefully requested to the API so you get the correct data. Okay, so that took forever to set up. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So I partnered with Windsor AI to get the data into Power BI. They have a free tier. It means that you can actually get data without having to purchase a subscription from them. But if you want to have a subscription from them, you can actually use discount code Curval that will give you 15% off their offering, okay? So you have both options of free and paid in case you need them. Okay, perfect. So to connect, it's actually very easy. You just create an account on Windsor AI, and then you search for Google Analytics 4. You can see it here. You connect using Google, and then you go to Power BI Desktop Web and grab the API key. Once you have that, you open the Power BI template that you will get from me. Once you open it, this is what you will see. You will have to enter a few things. This data format in a language. The date format is, for example, for me, I want the date in Swedish format, but I want the calendar in English. So here I will put SESV, which is the code for Swedish, you have a link there to tell you that they will show you where to get the codes. And the language it will be EN, right? Because it's English that I want the, the name, the day name, and all that stuff. Start of the, the weekday is one for me, it starts on Monday. And then here you put the Windsor API key. Do you say how many days you want it to load? Once you get this template, you can change this, of course. And then you just put your domain name. For me, it will be, for example, https curva.com, right? So easy. You put that information in there, load it, and then you will get your data, OK? It took forever to build this. It was 
crazy until I understood how everything worked. Because again, you have the aggregated data and, and you have the different scopes. So you cannot measure metrics and dimensions however you like. You have to do it properly so you get the correct results. So these will accelerate your implementation of Google Analytics without a doubt and will give you the correct data. <laughs> Not only that, and you will get the Power BI files, you will be able to modify it as you need. So I hope that this is useful for you. I spend crazy amount of hours doing it so you don't have to. I'll see you again in the next video.